All right, people. Welcome back. More Diando commentary. So we are joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here. So it looks like we're seeing some four mage thing. Uh, for the first turn, he went Goblin Burke, summon uh, Trick Clown, go into expensive ass Minerva, and uh, detached build three, and he milled. Uh, I think it was two Hat Trickers and the Foolish. So, and then paid a thousand to summon back the uh, Trick Clown. So, yeah. yeah. Minerva is like super expensive. I bet it is. It's a YCS mm -hmm. prize card. Yep. <laughs> so we have Vuluk the King with 1255 playing Cosmos and Worldwide Duelist at 967 playing, I'm assuming, Perform Ages. I haven't seen much <laughs> outside of that. But like I said, I really can't say that it's a deck and more of an engine, but. <laughs> So, once again, that reasoning uh, Cosmos. I'm still not the biggest fan of having reasoning in Cosmos. Yeah, same they, here. They Seems always like call it right, and it's just uh, milling a whole bunch of my cards that I would like to have. <laughs> so, can he get the damage in? Because it seems like they kind of traded in uh, their attack-adjusting cards for the reasonings, and I don't really like that, because if my opponent summons like a beater that I can't get over, then what am I doing? <laughs> You know, at least yeah. with the attack modulating, like, Jirigito and, like, the Forbidden Lance, I could at least get some damage in with Farm Girl, but now it's just summon something big. If I don't got the Dark Destroyer to handle it, then I'm kind of just screwed. Yeah, that's true, but the deck, the deck doesn't rely on completely on Farm Girl anymore. Yeah, at least that's nice. But she's still the Searcher. <laughs> you, know, you, you can't just leave behind the Searcher. Gosh, she's so expensive. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. The like, whole deck is expensive. <laughs> it was like ninety dollars at one point. At one point, as well. Oh my god! But now, at least, it, at least, it's more reasonable. All right, so Straw's gonna switch out for a forerunner, and then forerunner gonna go ahead and run over Minerva. Okay. Oh, there's actually it's, is some uh, light Lights one. All right, so it's light one. And then he gets, what does he get to do? Like, pop cards? Yeah, destroy two cards, pretty much. Then destroy cards in the field. The number of light swarms. Centigrad by this effect. Damn. And I don't think it targets. I think it doesn't target as well. I don't think it targets either. Yeah. Damn, just girl. Alright. And then go ahead and summon, please. Damn it, I want to look at the price of... <laughs> of Minerva. <laughs> Like what, four or five hundred dollars? You had the list. <laughs> I could guess. Uh, we'll enjoy her because she'll probably get banned next. No. <laughs> it seriously seems like every list Konami just takes a rank four away from us. <laughs> like, yeah, it seems like it. This next list, Castel banned. Like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> I can't even exceed you anymore. <laughs> Well, it's because the rank 4 toolbox has become too strong. It is. Over the years. The four mages and pals aren't helping, and it's just <laughs> ridiculous. That, that Pepe deck. Yep, that's yeah, completely insane with that. Deck just out of resources. And all that. Mm-hmm. Out of Cosmos, though, it's like the triangle. It's like Magic Spectre, Pepe, and Cosmos. But of course, Pepe is not that full power yet. Yeah, and that's not even a full power to start competing. <laughs> yep. Insta Fusion, because it's still at fucking. And the Vanity, of course. Like... Yep. <laughs> that number generator. They didn't hit Insta Fusion, they didn't hit Norden. <laughs> just. They're just asking for us to spam rank fours. So yeah, instead of addressing like the engines that produce the mass spamming the rank fours, you just deadly take away our rank fours. <laughs> Sounds. Not fair at all, but... <laughs> Alright. Sure. Yeah, that mill was pretty good. Mm -hmm. So he can't use the Galaxy Sec on this turn, because the turn that... Not the turn that is sent? Yep. So... I don't know what the colors, I guess... Perform Swords? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's Performance Light Swords, pretty much. Okay. 
then. Even they are gonna try to take up the rank four spamage. <laughs> yeah, it's all because of Minerva. It's just such a good card. Like anybody could really afford to make this deck in real life. Like where will I do this? I don't even think you should be really touching this deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're gonna spend all that money on Minerva, why don't you just go make Cosmos or something? <laughs> Gonna throw all that money down for one card. I'm looking at you, Bank Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like super ex expensive, like over a hundred dollars at least. Mm -hmm. It's just no. <laughs> yeah, Dark Destroyer is what made the uh, Cosmo top tier. Mm -hmm. The monster it just has uh, too many effects yeah. in one card. Too many, and they're all just really good. <laughs> And just floats in Forerunner as well. Mm -hmm. You can't be targeted, popping the monster, and just floating all the way down. <laughs> well, we should have known that Konami was going to make this deck super OP. <laughs> yeah. The new cash cap. Alright. Oh, is World going to get back into this? You're going to go ahead and... uh. <laughs> JD a couple of times until you've, <laughs> you've wiped. Wow, it seems like yeah, you're exhausted. If the Lightsong player even runs JD. Wow, they don't even run JD? Yeah, some don't even run it. So, because yeah, it's kind of inconsistent in that deck because wow. you have so that. many performance in, in it. I never thought I'd see the day that <laughs> Lightsongs wouldn't just be JD.deck. Yep, Lila. Hello. What? what? Is that what I'm scolding? Lol. Wow. <laughs> Solemn That's kind fucking of funny. scolding. For a second there, my jaw, I thought that was Solemn Notice for a second there. I was like, wait, 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 wait. I thought we were in TCG. <laughs> what do you think about that card? Uh, Solemn Notice, you mean? Yeah. It's really broken, <laughs> I think. Uh, it has to be at least limited, if not banned. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. Come back for game two. Alright. Yeah. S scolding. I mean, notice. I would say scolding. No, notice. <laughs> like I said, there was so actually someone who commented, and it was like, oh no, notice should stay at three, because the game is too fast for it. And, oh. uh, and warning should go up to two, and judgment should come off ban. Like, no. Kill yourself. <laughs> Freaking six solemn because cards, like, I'm done, I can't even play. <laughs> a fast attacks actually abuse those cards more, and they can recover from those cards uh, a lot better, because um, if you stop uh, a slower deck, then the turn is pretty much over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, decks can totally, uh, you know, notice doesn't do anything to these faster decks. He's like, like, Cosmos, I'm like, if I notice you three times in Cosmos, you're going to run out of resources and lose. <laughs> you can't even yep. switch out of the way. Like, it, no. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Wow. So, go ahead and through the freaking Ghost Ogre and still, <laughs> World Alive is still getting set up. Wow, already down to 24 cards in the first turn. <laughs> yep. Holy crap. Ghost Ogre still expensive. Yeah, indeed. It's not even that great, to be honest. Yeah, I'd start not liking it. There's always been times when I'm just like, yeah, I could pop it, but it's still gonna go off. I, you know, I'd rather Valor. <laughs> I'd rather Valor the monster's effect and deal with the monster than pop the monster and deal with the effect. <laughs> so, you just gonna leave it like that, or are you gonna continue your place? I saw it on core is in the graveyard as well, so... Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good counter against Cosmo and Infinite, I guess, as well. In yeah. The future. Definitely gonna be uh, switching from uh, Fiendish Chain to Breakthrough Skill. Because you can go ahead and put that, get that Breakthrough Skill in the graveyard and just Breakthrough Skill the Infinity during your opponent during your turn and then handle it. Breakthrough Skill is kind of bad against Match Spectre as well. That's true. But it's not like Fiendish Chain is any better either. 
And there is one card that negates most effects but doesn't target, which is memory loss. Oh yeah, I forgot about that card. It's been cool minute. The broke man's fiendish chain, what we called it. <laughs> I remember that card. Yep. Is that card still expensive too? Yep. Mm, yeah, kind of. Yu-Gi-Oh! so expensive! <laughs> Go ahead, make my twin twister freaking secret rare. I'll go ahead and snap my neck right now. Yeah, it might happen. <laughs> that would kind of suck. <laughs> it's a really good staple card. God. <laughs> How much do you think Infinity is going to be? Mm, maybe like $50. You think so? <laughs> yeah. It would be 100 if it if it was still with the old system. Yeah. I think it's smart to call eight because you just don't want that Dark Shire summon. But like I said, there's a lot of other yeah. numbers. So is he gonna get that direct attack in with that farm grill? Will he be able to OTK you right now? Yeah, probably not. Pay the thousand. He didn't summon clown. He <laughs> summon that tricker, but I guess. <laughs> was there a clown on that? I guess there was. Yeah, there was. Yep. I guess there was no point there. Right? Mm. Oh what my god. Cool. <laughs> wow, this man is wrecking you with Hicken Sculpt. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I mean, it's not. They don't set too much back row in Cosmo, so. Interesting. Yep. <laughs> Damn. My scolding is the worst Solan car, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, that's fortunate, but still pretty good. Yep. Um, go ahead and throw that damage juggler. Yep. Oh! <laughs> the Solums are flying. <laughs> Alright. Do you got anything wrong with our Is that it? Cosmo guy is starting to run out of resources though. As long as he doesn't have Honest, you might be able to handle that. Yep. Alright. Get like, I don't know, like a hat trigger or something? Normal summon, special summon? XC into I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Minerva probably. Another one? Yeah. More than likely. Oh, because everybody has like three Minerva, why not? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just feel like like twenty dollars for one Yu-Gi-Oh card is like too expensive. Like that's where I start drawing the line. Like that right there. <laughs> yeah. Minerva mean, doesn't even have a price on Twine Network. What about TCG player? No idea. Mm -hmm. I oh, know you're watching Bill. Let's click by now and see if it's on <laughs> TCG player. Yep. Hello. Oh, what the hell, TCG player? Are you like down or something? Hmm. TCG player is not working for me. Oh well. <laughs> oh, really? Yep. Damage step done. It on the statue and then worldwide duel scoops. G -g 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 -g. <laughs> well, there's still a chance that uh, Minerva destroys that farm girl. Yeah, but that'd be good. Because can... this is all during a damage that a farm girl can't tag out for whatever he's yep. searching for, right? So go ahead and get your farm girl search, and then he'll go ahead and do his. Uh... Oh, grab Cosmo's helmet. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ooh. <laughs> Is that it? Hmm. Go ahead and scoop it up. Yep, of course. I guess you don't have a Cyber Dragon. Uh, if you would like to uh, go ahead and click out of battle phase, I'd be really appreciative. <laughs> You didn't know that you could play uh, 
Lost. Wrote it during the battle phase. That's why it got limited. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why Rota got limited. I guess they were just like, you know what? Let's not kill Teller Knights. Let's just put them down to the strength they were at, at Worlds. I guess. And kick everybody else in the nuts who wants to play <laughs> freaking Warrior decks. Yeah, very low tier decks. <laughs> Like, you know what? I, I, I didn't want to play UAs anyway. <laughs> okay, Trish is coming. Yeah, Trish. How much is Trish? Still pretty expensive, but not as much as any anymore. Gone. 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 And all he has is a Cosmo Town. Yep, has a top deck something really good. Watch him just top deck. Come back, it's almost impossible. Top deck right into that Dr. Shoya. Yeah, that might do something. <laughs> Cosmo that Town. Definitely it's the game. Yep, pay the satellite points, get your card back, summon, banish, special, pop, tap game. Ah, oh, so you're gonna get it back and then put it back. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, that fear spell is just too good. Even though that well. Wish would have been pretty good to block from being destroyed by attacking over Trish. I probably would have, if that were me, I probably would have held on to that Wicked Wish, or at least a little bit. So, did you get what you needed? Or is that game and we're going to game three? Is it another scolding? <laughs> no, that's... So, world, if I were you, I, I'd push. You summon anything with 15? Wrap this duel up? Looks like it. Yeah, if um, that goes on to least doesn't have something. So, are you out of targets? Yeah, so you're probably out of targets. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can't even activate that, so... Yep. Can you do it worldwide? Can we at least take it to game three? You got the Cosmo guy on the, on the ropes. Even that, if that is a scolding. Mm -hmm. My points are just going to be too low. Yep. He's thinking. He's thinking. I said, I don't know. I don't know. If I were for you, I would have held on to that Wicked Witch. Now you just took 27 direct. You could That could have blocked like three attacks. Approximately. Yep. <laughs> Gotta block the attacks, build up your resources, and then go ahead and get your Forerunner or Dark Destroyer and handle <laughs> it. By the way, do you think that Cosmo is currently the current the best deck or not? Hmm. Do I think it's the best deck? Yeah, currently. I'd probably have to give it the best deck. You know, I don't know much about the whole Pepe deck, so I really can't have a really good opinion of it. But I think it's better than Magic Specters. I do. And it's game over. Yep. I think it's. Yeah, Magic Specters have a really bad matchup against Cosmo because uh, all the Magic Specters uh, special traps target except Tempest. Mm -hmm. I think Magic Specters might turn up better in Breaker of Meta, though. You know, with that. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, I forgot that about that. Completely forgot about that as well. You know, with. Uh... They're already playing that luster, so with that counter trap uh, fairy monster, yep, go ahead and contact, and that's it. So we're going to game three. <laughs> so yeah, let me finish talking. Uh, with that counter trap fairy, with solemn notice and and tempest, I think deck's gonna uh, get much better with frog increasing the consistency of the deck. Yep. Like I said, I just think that they, I think they should start main decking and hating a little bit more. I don't think that I don't think they're being stunny enough. I think they should start, you know, going with, like, Rivalry of Warlords for both Cosmo and, uh, Pepe. Because I'm all spellcasters. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm all spellcasters, so what are you? Like, unless you have uh, a 3 into a 4, you summon that farm girl, you can't even tag into a machine, so. It's kind of one of the things that Cleeds did before they got killed. <laughs> yeah, rightfully killed. <laughs> got <Not> murdered. <laughs> Shadows too. People said that Necros aren't dead, but I haven't seen them. I've, I've seen more Burning Abyss than Necros. 
I mean, you tell me, have Necros really done anything since their hit? Or are they just... Mm, they got that top 8 in some German regionals. <laughs> but that's what it. I mean, that's the most obscure thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> top 8 in Germany. <laughs> Well, next they get like... At least they're not uh, top 8 in Estonia. Yeah, let's say, did they get top 8 in Estonia? <laughs> this man's thinking. Which light zone you want? Are they right in? More milling? It's interesting. With all the decks really graveyard reliant being gone, we've stepped out of that graveyard format. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm. Just so many things that you can build that aren't light swords. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, that's why I don't think that light swords are displaced, just my dragon. I haven't even seen one yet. No, not one, so I guess he isn't playing Judgment Dragon. Wonder if he's even playing enough Light Sworn names to even play Judgment Dragon. Yeah, I think so. We've seen Lu Lumina, Lila, Raiden. And here comes Lyra. Noden. And then, yep, and then there comes freaking Noden. <laughs> Still broken, see. but we have so many other problems currently that it doesn't even matter currently at all. Uh, but hey, if you keep on taking my rank fours, then it's not really doing much. You know. At this point, what's the yeah, best thing I can tough. do is castell you. <laughs> yep. That's synchro is so expensive as well. Oh my god, Omega is so expensive, but you know, he's played in what Infernoids and a lot of decks. <laughs> that zombie deck. Put back the Mizukis. That is not bad, you know, just to be able to put a random, I mean, go ahead and take one of your banished cards and put it back. No, picking out of the hand is not terrible either, hop out of the way of something. Yeah, definitely. Is he like the most expensive card in that set? Mm hmm Yeah, probably. If Tishula is not more expensive. Oh, yeah, another expensive card. <laughs> It's everything. Everything. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, the Dodge and the Kentrick is so expensive. Yeah? Yeah, yes, it is. Everything is expensive. <laughs> I said, I, I, I tried to warn people. I really did. When freaking Luster was like $5, I was like, pick him up. He's going to get expensive. Pick him up. And no one believed me. <laughs> I knew that I knew that Magic Spectres were gonna play him. I didn't even know much about uh and this is before I even knew much about uh Pepe and that uh plush. And now that plush too, like, yeah. <laughs> nah <laughs> you don't need that. Definitely don't need that. Say so you can search for like a dark destroyer and if you have one of the smaller ones, it's like going after him with Dark Destroyer, it's not bad. Dark yep. Yeah, Dark Destroyer is more than enough to go ahead and handle almost anything that Worldwide can do. Oh, yeah, get Wicked Witch. Okay. Mm hmm. You know, leave it like that, or. Yeah, I guess you're just gonna leave it like that. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was some luck. <laughs> so I see where you're going. Oh, we go ahead and get that Wicked Witch summon. Man, summon that Forerunner, crash into mm -hmm. the uh, Omega if it's still on the field. And then run over to Minerva, but now. Just pick that card right in your hand, but at least you got it back in your hair now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lights one twice might win this. Interesting. 
Oh, oh. skill drain. Skill drain. I did not know Cosmos played that. I mean, I guess they can. It's kind of like uh, Burning Abyss playing it. It's like, yeah, they got yeah. they got monster effects on the field that they want to use like daunting and stuff, but you know, they mostly just float outside. So why not? It probably is going to hurt their opponent more than Cosmos themselves. Interesting. Interesting. So it's, we're getting back to caveman Yu-Gi-Oh people. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> that's what Skill Drain does. It's caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh. He's going to go ahead and summon that Dark Destroyer, and then <laughs> that's a 3,000 beater. <laughs> And no monster effects activate. The struggles are going to be real. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought you liked uh, Kima and Yugi. I played Cleeforts in real life. I played Cleeforts because I bought them for cheap. And <clears throat> I wanted to win. <laughs> you know, there's a difference between competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! and fun Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> yeah, fun Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm Evil Master. I play Yubel. I have fun. You know, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, I took Evil Swarms, which is like the antithesis of of Yubel, so... <laughs> mm, yeah, that's true, I guess. But as long as it helps me win, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's a difference between Daniel Evil Mastery and Dirty Dan. <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> Alright. Trappies. Yep. Yep. Hey, you gonna crash? Probably not. <laughs> not a good idea. It's interesting that you turned uh, near the defense. I guess scared of that storming mirror force. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I have seen some play that. I mean, it's but, uh, pretty decent against magic specters. Well, uh, they get the cards back to the hand, that's not good. And then again, plus again next turn. I guess stops them for one turn, I guess, but that's about it. As long as they're not running uh, just generic back row to handle a situation. Because, you know, I mean, they get their monsters back, but if you can go ahead and storming mirror force them, all their monsters go back to their hand, they've already normal summoned, they've already pendulum summoned, you know, all their spells and traps are just, you know, should be the win spellcaster, that's all I got, and I'm playing Cosmos, if I OTK you, it doesn't matter if you got your cards back in your hand. Hmm. Alright. So, if he mills the light sign, yep, and he did. There goes that skill drain. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah? Skill drain gone? It's a fine door. Going back and forth with the plays. Oh. Master on scolding again. Again. <laughs> this man's not playing around. That skill drain and the scolding just always seems live. I kind of want to see what back row he's running. <laughs> I kind of want to see both these decks. Okay. Mm hmm Wicked Witch. Hmm. Okay. Yep, he didn't have it. I would've went with Wicked Witch. Especially when you... Yeah, so especially when you knew he could uh, do that Felice, or however you say her name. Is the tribute the cost? Yes, I think so. Well, it wow. is not. Okay. But Trans Gold, it doesn't negate monster effects. Oh, actually, actually it actually does. I think. Oh, yeah, actually it does. It's... Actually, yep, all, all, all other Solemn cards yeah. that it uh, 
both negate some on some of their effects. No, Mill's not the cause of that resolution. You can tribute this card and target one monster your opponent controls semicolon. Destroy that target, then send the top three cards of your deck to graveyard. So if, if Fleece doesn't resolve the effect, then no mill. Which is fine, because he milled like crap anyway, so. <laughs> You could do that? Mm hmm. I'm not sure. I think so, I guess. So. So you're gonna use Straw Man, tribute him for costs, and then activate his effect to summon from the Banish? That I guess the effect weird. still resolves. Yeah. If Chain resolves backwards, then. Okay. Caught me off guard, but. <laughs> Doesn't look like his opponent's saying anything, so sure. <laughs> wow, so with skill during straw man just becomes even better. <laughs> he said, I've always been fine with straw man. He said, a psychic that's, you know, less than three. So, gives you more targets for uh, emergency teleport. They still play emergency teleport, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's a staple for sure. It's like, I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> oh, oh damn! Sweet. Oh damn! Um, <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? Oh, that one. Ooh. Uh, you got like an MST? Destroy the skill drain and the van he goes as well? Like, please? <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's probably game over yep. at this point. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta my eyes for a second. I thought for a second this man was running Cleaves. <laughs> <Lol. laughs> At this point, it's it's just stalling. Yeah, you're just stalling at this point. I don't think the um, lights won't only steam around so much. Then. Doesn't look like it. Maybe he's hoping to mill into a, a galaxy cyclone? At this point, it's a little bit too late. Yeah, that's the only option, really. Why do you take 28? No idea. I don't know. Not my problem. <laughs> and it's going to be difficult to mill with your white sword monsters negated. I guess that helps a little bit. Yeah, that works. Actually, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't because my yeah. on. Yeah, he's right. still on fail lol. Yeah, he can't even do that. Damn, <laughs> the floodgates. <laughs> they are too strong. There's a reason why we limited those cards. <laughs> yeah, maybe they should be banned, actually. Especially Vanitas, because it's just... Uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind if Vanity's banned. Like I said, I, I don't like those, you know, one card <laughs> kind of disgustingness. I don't like Vanities, I don't like Regeki. Like, it's just like, god damn it. <laughs> Every time. The, that one card... But I guess Konami's like, hey, it's at one. It's already low enough. It's one out of 40. Yep. So there we go. There we have it. So Cosmos beat the the Light Storm Perform Ages. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Omega, for joining me. No problem. Glad to join you always. Be sure to go to Omega's channel. The link is in the description. And check out their content. Yep, I'm now pretty much back in YouTube. That's good. We all came back. Stanzi's still reluctant to come back, but he'll be back. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next week with some more DM to commentary. Thanks for watching.